Eli Pelham. Cullen Bryson. Okay. What uh, what school are you guys from? Uh, I'm from Short Mountain Elementary. Short Mountain? Woodland Elementary. What did that one weigh? Uh, 3.88. What did y'all do today? Like, how did you catch this fish? We was in about 10, 12 foot of water, and we was throwing a big jig and just dragging it. With one fish for 407, from Sumner County, Jake Crane and Wesley White. Wyatt. It turns out that Mr. Wyatt had the big fish of the day at 407. He gets a set of tight line jigs in another plaque to hang on the wall. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a couple of anglers with me here now. They're from the Mount Juliet fishing team. So, guys, what are y'all's names? Colt McConnell. Okay. Chase McConnell. All right, brothers, I guess. All right, brothers team. It's the first brothers team we've seen. Now, how did y'all do today? It was tough, but we managed to pull out one. What did you do to catch that one? Uh, we caught it on a tree around the bank with a point. Okay, so y'all are in a little bit more shallow water. Mm -hmm. Okay. In second place with two fish, Batman and Robin from Mount Juliet, Preston Lanham and Preston Maddox. And in first place with two fish for 478 from Tallahoma Junior Bass Team, Landon Suits and Peyton T Tyler. They get baits, they get plaques, they get a couple of Denali rods, and they get a big hand from the entire crowd. Look at there. All right, guys, we're back here again, and now we are standing with the first place winners of the junior division here at Nickajack Lake at the Tennessee High School Bass Nation Tournament. Layton, come here. What's y'all's names? My name is Peyton Taylor. Okay. Layton Suits. And y'all are from guys, where? Tallahoma. Uh, Tallahoma. Okay. From Tallahoma. And these guys have just won first place. And what was y'all's total weight today? Uh, 478. 478. Great bag, guys. Are y'all going to be fishing at Percy Priest here in a few weeks? Probably. Probably so. Likely. All right, well, hopefully we'll see y'all there. Congratulations to both of you. That is wonderful. We'd love to see it. We'll see y'all soon. Thank you. i got Lance Lanham here with me, and he's from the Mount Juliet Fishing Team. Captain's a, a boat there. And uh, how did y'all do today, Lance? Uh, it was uh, could have been better. We, uh, we caught two fish. I felt like we had the winning fish on, had about a five-pounder short to strike us, and get off right at the boat so uh but wasn't, wasn't too bad there's uh, i think it's kind of been a tough day for everybody but uh under the conditions i think maybe we're gonna do okay i got a couple of guys that are from bradley county tennessee what are, what's y'all's names um ethan brooks i'm jacob young all right made a made a risky move didn't practice at all up river made a run up river um fishing the current breaks and the docks and was blessed enough by the good Lord to give me close to three pounder. Amen to that. I want to wish both of y'all luck for the for the rest of your season, and hopefully we'll catch up with y'all some more interviews in the next few tournaments. Appreciate Thanks, it, sir. Appreciate Thank it. Y'all have a good one. Thank you, guys. These guys are some of our our local guys from Mountain Juliet, Tennessee, and man, that is a good looking fish you got right there, Owen. And I, there's a little bit of a story behind this I just now heard. So when was this fish caught? Like two minutes before we came in here <laughs> i mean that right there tells you if you have fished all day and you right. have not done what you're trying to do the last five minutes that's might right. put a five pound fish in your hand they're gonna go ahead and get this fish back in the water we, we came all the way back in we had 10 minutes left to fish i said we never stop till the end he threw and it was on <laughs> that's how it happens never give up today's top winning team and i want the entire team including all the boat captains to come up for the win Mount Juliet. Where you at, Coach JD? <laughs> Caleb has one fish, and Dave is having a hernia. <laughs> it's a nice and. How about 741? There's your new big fish, it's 741. Once again, if you're going to catch a good one, it might as well be a toad. Is your big fish at two hundred and fifty dollars scholarship? So that's three hundred and sixty dollars in scholarship funds. The Lenore Cities, Dalton Bailey and Hayden Socket.
For these next two, we're going to also need the boat captain's mama, if she, or boat captain's better half if she's here, in the boat captain. Here, these guys are from Lenore City, and for right now, they are in the first place position. You guys had a five fish limit today, is that right? Yes. Go ahead and give me y'all's names. What's y'all's names, guys? Uh, Dalton Bailey. Hayden Stocking. Y'all had five fish. What do those end up weighing today? 12.36. 12.36. Yes, got y'all in first place right now. Hadn't seen many five fish back, so you, you guys yeah. did really good. What worked for you guys today? Um, A jig and a silver buddy. Okay. That's all that worked about for About how deep yeah. were your fish? Uh, about 26 foot of water. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so you guys yes, were a little deeper than than most of the pack, as a matter of fact. Yes, and sir. might be the uh, that might have been the key was that y'all were in that deeper water. In second place with five fish for 13.10, a $700 scholarship. The Saudi Daisies, Caden Gilly and Reese Nixon. Wait a minute, you do have a better half. Oh, he doesn't anymore. Oh, oh, okay, I'll leave that alone. All right, I got a couple more anglers here with me today, and these girls are from Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. What are y'all's names? Um, I'm Sadie Rogers. I'm Brentley Rogers. Okay, are we sisters, cousins? Mm -hmm. Okay, sisters. sisters. All right. We had a brother's team earlier, now we got a sister's team. And y'all came in and, and brought in a few fish earlier, and super excited uh, for me to see when, when the girls come in fishing. I've got a daughter who loves to hunt and fish. Can't wait to get her out here doing this. So I, you, you girls like y'all are the inspiration uh, for girls like my daughter coming up and getting started in this, and they know that they can get out here and do this. Uh, how long uh, have you guys been fishing together? Uh, this, this is, is our, our first, first, year yeah. first season together. First season together. Have you, have you each been fishing most of your lives, or yeah, you kind of yeah. new to fishing? Ever since okay. we were little. <laughs> See, so it's like her. You know, that's what I mean. It's that, and and y'all can get out here and do the same thing that we can do, can't you? I mean, you yep. can catch just as many fish. Don't make a bit of difference. That's what we try to tell people. Mm -hmm. uh, what worked for y'all today? Uh, just a Ned rig throwing out in the current. About out how, in the current seams. About how deep were you? Typically. uh 15 to 20 feet okay see a little bit deeper again yeah. okay well look thank y'all so much for coming over here and talking with it wasn't that bad was it in first place with four fish for 13 38 a 1200 dollars scholarship to whitwells weston moss and drake hemby I need the entire real world team up here. Come on, Nathan. Drake Hemby, Weston Moss. What seemed to work for y'all today? Um, I feel like really just keeping our line in the water all day, fishing as much as not possible. Not giving could, up, right? And not running around everywhere. Was yeah. Okay, so you kind of stuck to it. Whatever plan you had, you stuck to it. Yes, sir. Just a great day today. Lots of teams came out and competed. And uh, right now, again, these guys are in the lead with, what was the total weight? 13.30 uh, something. Great looking string. Guys, thanks for coming over here and talking yeah, to thank us. Thank you. Hopefully that'll hold up for you. Congratulations. We'll see y'all again here soon.